Hi there and welcome to Get Reskilled. My name is Donald Fitzgerald and I'm the product manager here. In this short how-to video, we're going to go over how you log in to our learning management system Moodle and how you can navigate around one of our courses. Okay, so let's begin. Let's put in our username and password. You can see here we have the title of the course which is hyperlinked to the course itself. You can also navigate to the course within this tree menu on the side here. So let's click on this link. So here's the course itself. Let's look around here and see what we've got. At the very top we have a breadcrumb trail and this is a very useful navigation feature. If you navigate to a page and can't figure out how to get back to where you just came from all you need to do is to click on wherever you want to go. On the left hand side we have the tree navigation. We have the administration section where you can edit your profile and change your password. We have activities where you can find out detail any quizzes or other resources that may be available to you. Over here on the right hand side we've got a progress bar where you can see how many more items you need to complete on the course. At the very top we have the course title Underneath that section, we have announcements. Now, these will vary from course to course, but you should always keep an eye out here for any news on the latest release of content or any assignments or assessments that you may need to hand in. And underneath that, we have a link to the Get Reskilled Community Forum. And this may or may not be available to you. It's going to depend on the particular course you're taking. Now, I've put together another video on the forum You'll find details of that later on throughout your course. Now, let's have a look at the breakdown of a course. So, each course is broken down into a number of sessions. And in the case of this particular course, it's broken down into eight sessions. And each session is broken down into a number of topics. And generally speaking, one session is equivalent to one week's worth of content. Not always, but generally speaking. And you can see here to begin with that only one session's worth of content is available. The rest of the sessions haven't been made available to you yet. Now, the reason that we do this is we want to make absolutely sure that you get through the content and don't fall behind. So what we do is at the end of every week, we go through your logs and we see how much time you've spent logged in, how often you've logged in, what you've done, have you answered all the quizzes, have you downloaded all the notes? Have you watched all the videos? And we also check the percentage of content that you've completed on your own progress bar. If everything is in order and you've been able to get through the content and make good progress, that is your progress bar is over 85%, then we will open up more coursework for you. However, if we see you're falling behind, we'll pop you an email, and in some cases, we may even give you a telephone call just to see what's happening and to help you get back on track. Now, if you want to navigate to an individual topic, you can use the tree navigation section here on the left-hand side of the screen, or you can use these links here. Now, here we are inside one particular topic, and in this case, it's broken down into four steps. That's step one through to step four. And step one is a warm-up exercise. So let's click on that. You can see I've been here before. So we have to answer a warm-up question. How could we possibly contain and control a chemical reaction? Any suggestions? Now, the idea behind this is to warm you up, obviously, and to unlock any prior knowledge that you may have about the subject. And we have found this significantly improves your learning. So we strongly urge you to complete this as it really does make a huge difference at the end of the course. So let's put in an answer here. Click next. In step two, we have to watch a video and just click on that. Let's now look. And if you want to, you can skip to any part of the video using the bar on the bottom here. You can adjust the volume. You can make it full screen. And just for your own information, 
This system works off the back end of Amazon and Amazon accounts for about 25% of all internet traffic across the world. So we rarely have any problems with this. And do note that the video contains 80% of the course material and that the notes on step three support the video content providing the final 20%. Step three, download and read notes. Now, in some cases, this will open up as a pop-up PDF, and in other cases, it's going to open up in your browser, as in this case. And if you want to, you can save it to your hard drive or thumb drive. Just come up here, click there, or right-click and click Save. Let's navigate back. And in step four, you have to answer the self-assessment questions to self-assess your knowledge of the subject. Let's click on this. And generally speaking, we usually give you between two and four questions. In this case, it's three questions. So let's put something in here to show you how this works. Click Next, Click Submit All and Finish, and navigate back to the topic. And again, I would strongly urge you to complete all of these questions as it really will make a huge difference in your overall understanding at the end of the course. And although it's not officially marked, we do check what's written here. And as I mentioned before, we do check your overall progress at the end of each week. And if we see that you haven't been keeping up, we will contact you just to check in and to see if you're having any problems or issues with the course. Now, two other points. I'd strongly suggest that you save your answers to both the pre and post video questions on the question booklets that we give you at the start of the course. The reason for this is that you won't be able to access your work once you have submitted them to Moodle and these answers can be really helpful for you when revising the course and also with questions that you could be asked during any technical interviews. Now for some topics you will need to complete some work examples so let's take a look at that. So in the case of the modules, the fundamentals of pharmaceutical manufacturing technologies, and also with the commissioning and qualification of equipment and systems, you're going to have a number of workshops that you'll need to complete throughout the module. So let's take a look at one of the workshops for the fundamentals of pharmaceutical manufacturing technologies. So here's the topic and let's scroll down. And you can see the worked example documents down here. So what you need to do is, first of all, download the PDF and the two Word documents, carefully read through the PDF, then complete the 50% work example, and then complete the final workshop. And once you have completed this, you need to email it to your course coordinator or course leader before you can move on to the next session. And in the case of the Fundamentals of Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, you have a total of seven workshops to complete, and these will form part of your end of module assignment. Now, let's take another look at how you navigate from topic to topic. So there are a few different ways you can do this. Obviously, you can navigate with the tree menu on the side here. You can navigate with these links up here, but also you can come to the bottom of the screen and there's some additional links that you can use to navigate from topic to topic. You can also use this jump down menu here or drop down menu here. And you can also use this to jump to any particular topic that you want to get to. That's pretty much it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.